Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. It's that time of the year again when the weather is so confusing that you don't really know what to wear. In the morning it's too cold and in the afternoon it's too hot that your skin is burning. At least if you're living in Canada, fall is just so confusing. But all my years living here has taught me one thing that you don't keep your summer outfits in your storage yet. You can still use them and I have found that sweet spot where you can layer up your winter clothes but at the same time also wear your summer outfits. So in this video I am going to show you just that. I have five outfit ideas using your summer pieces and adding one piece of winter outfit and you can layer them up in such a way that if in the afternoon it's too hot you can take them off or if it's too cold in the morning or evening time then you can just add that piece but still look stylish and chic at the same time so let's get this video rolling I love wearing button-down shirts all year round and you guys will find me wearing them 90% of the time and that's why I've used them for this outfit idea number one. I'm just wearing my simple blue cotton button-down shirt with my mom jeans. This is my typical go-to outfit if I'm going for a casual outing or I might switch up my mom jeans with a black trouser and I'm good to go for the office as well. So now let's talk about how to style this combination for this changing weather. One trick that I have learned is that you can use a very lightweight cardigan. Let me show you an example. So this is the cardigan that I'm using, nothing fancy. It just has simple buttons in the front and I'd recommend for this style closing at least one button in the front so that you have a proper structure to your sweater for what I'm going to do next. So the trick to styling this cardigan is that you just have to take the arms and then put it on your shoulders like this. It looks so classy and effortless. You literally don't have to change anything and at the same time you have added one extra layer that will keep you warm all day long and if you're feeling too cold you can just take this off and wear it on top of it and you're good to go so that's your outfit idea number one and before i forget another tip that i have for you guys for this outfit is that what you can do is you can tuck this cardigan under your collars of your shirt in order to look more put together so that it stays put all day long and you don't have to worry about it slipping uh, from your shoulders but if it's still slipping then you can tie a knot in the front that will look totally classy as well so this is the outfit idea number one and then just for the sake of showing you guys the full outfit on how I style something like this is I usually go with the combination of blue with black. So uh, black cardigan and then for my jewelry I'm wearing this black and gold pendant. At the same time some black with gold outline earrings. Very minimalistic. Uh, some rings that I'm wearing I don't know if you guys can see and to complete the outfit I will add a black crossbody bag and black boots so everything will go with one another Now moving on to our outfit idea number two, I have just switched my button down shirt with this mauve crop top which I really love and crop tops are huge during summer season but you don't have to put them away yet because they can be so versatile and can be used in winter season as well. So for an outfit like this uh, crop top with mom jeans, I would opt for a cardigan to layer up. It's a grey cardigan which is very chunky and very warm. Uh, the reason I picked up this one instead of going for a lightweight uh, like the black that I showed you in outfit number one is because crop tops are very thin as compared to the button down shirts and also it's cut sleeves and I really feel cold when my arms are exposed uh, during this changing season. So that's the reason why I picked this one up. So let me just wear it right now. Now one thing that I absolutely love doing with looks like these is 
put one shoulder off and one on i think this serves as a purpose now in your head just think about when you're sleeping having a blanket on but you feel too hot but then if you take the blanket off you are too cold so you put one leg outside your blanket and then it balances out perfectly this is what it does basically so i just put this down and this one up on the shoulder and i'm good to go at the same time it looks very stylish and very chic so i love this combination now even after using this trick if it's too hot outside and you feel too hot in this chunky shrug or cardigan then what you can do is you can remove it off and just like we did in look number one instead of putting it on the shoulder i would tie it on my waist so just a simple knot on the waist like this and you're good to go just make sure that it forms like a V going down your waist that way it looks more put together just a little tip and that's it uh, that's your look number two the next most common piece that I see girls wearing during summer season are dresses midi dresses a line mini you name it we wear them all and uh, this is the dress that I will be using for my next outfit idea now this one is too short for my comfort so i don't wear this often during summer season but i love love styling this during winter season because then i can layer it up and experiment a lot with this one so i have two style ideas using this one black dress number one is using a denim jacket on top of it so simple I think you guys already know this but let this video serve as a reminder that you still have a denim jacket lying somewhere around in your wardrobe that you can still use now i bought this jacket i think nine ten years ago it's so old but it was too long when i first bought it because i didn't know any better i cut it into half as you can see one side is too long than the other like not much but it is too long uh, but once I wear it nobody can tell the difference the reason why I cut this one because crop jackets uh, like these they make you look taller and given that I am on that petite threshold my height is too short uh, this one works best for dresses like these uh, let me just wear it right now and you will see how effortless this style is and how stylish it actually looks See, it goes perfectly with this black color and I just love wearing this during fall season. So this is a perfect look if you are confused on what to wear. As for the sleeves, I just, I don't roll it all the way up. I just do it like this or maybe just somewhat, like not all the way up like this because i love seeing that high difference between the jacket and my sleeves and this is how it looks and now if you're someone who is not comfortable exposing their legs or feel too cold when their legs are exposed then i have a perfect solution for you you can try these long socks that are not too cold not too hot you can find them on any uh, random store uh, if you go look for it and now what they do is they usually end up above your knees so this will be a perfect style statement as well let me just wear it so something like this you can also use this as a hat if you don't have long boots so you wear this and then the boots on top you're good to go so let me wear other one and show you how the full look looks like So this is what it looks like with the socks on. I think it's a perfect combination. You look very dressed up. Although this is not a very chic look, I must say, but something that you can go for on a random day when you feel like dressing up a little more during a cold season. Now let's move on to the second style that I was talking about using the same dress. I love wearing knitted chunky sweaters on top of dresses like these they will keep you warm all day long and they look so good it looks like as if you're wearing a sweater with a skirt 
so one trick that I always use is that I always fold my sweaters to make it look like as if it's cropped again the same reason I don't want to look short and this trick makes you look taller so what I do is I either put like a safety pin uh, here or I would wear like a sports bra underneath and just tuck it inside so this time because I don't have the sports bra I will just tuck it in using a safety pin uh, so this is what it looks like <laughs> I'm so sorry about the camera angles but yeah this is uh, your next outfit idea okay guys now moving on to the final and the last outfit idea for this video is the combination of bodysuit and scarves uh, now i don't know if you guys can tell but this bodysuit uh, the fabric is very very thin as you guys can see uh, and i wear this all the time during summer season especially for the office but during winter season or when the weather is changing i combine this with a scarf and this goes with so many of your summer outfits if you think that it's too hot outside but you don't want to feel cold during those morning and evening hours you just carry a warm scarf with you and you're good to go and i usually use these uh, infinity scarves and for this i am going for somewhat monochromatic color combination this one is maroon and this one as well so I do something like this and it keeps me warm. Now you might be thinking that uh, the bodysuit is still so thin. How do you stay warm during a cold day? So what I uh, do, one tip that I have learned living here in Canada and waiting for the buses outside in winter season is that you can use this infinity scarves. And that's the reason I buy infinity scarves all the time. You can use them like this as your shrug and it will keep you warm trust me this is uh, the best thing that i have learned during all these years of me living in canada and you can try it too so this is like my last outfit idea for you guys i hope this was helpful and uh, oh another tip that i would love to mention so for an outfit like this if you're wearing a scarf with a bodysuit full sleeves then you don't want your hair uh, in between i think if you tie them up in a ponytail like this they will look very stylish and very chic but because i'm lazy and uh, yeah i'm tired uh, after like speaking so much and making this video i will just uh, leave you with that tip uh, for you to try on your own and yeah I really hope that you guys find this video helpful and you enjoy the process because I did and don't forget to like share and subscribe I'll see you guys in my next one bye